Their feet are firmly on solid ground once again, but the astronauts forced to make an emergency landing in the Soyuz rocket capsule weren't quite out of the woods. U.S. astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexei Ovchinin spent the night in hospital in the Kazakh city of Baikonur for medical checks after their aborted mission. Destined for a six-month stint aboard the International Space Station, Haig and Ovchinin were forced to abandon their journey into orbit less than two minutes after takeoff, when their spacecraft's booster rockets failed in mid-air. The incident, which is one of the most serious in the history of the International Space Station, has cast a shadow over an otherwise enviable safety record for the Soyuz rocket. I think it, it just re-emphasizes that this is a dangerous business. Uh, I think it also really solidifies, in my mind, that the Soyuz is a robust, redundant, reliable machine. It has a lot of flights under its belt. And in this case, where it had an ascent anomaly, it has a great abort system that brought our crew home. The Russian Soyuz rocket that ferries astronauts to and from the space station will be out of action for months. After the booster rocket failed to ignite, the emergency escape system sprang into action, separating the rocket from the crew capsule, which was sent plummeting to Earth. The two-man crew was subjected to far greater g-force than during a normal landing. The three crew members currently aboard the ISS have plenty of supplies, but could be stuck in orbit until early January while a thorough investigation is carried out into what caused the malfunction. Luke Barber, Euronews.